Hello ladies and gents, welcome to CG Reaction and this is Why Thorium Rocks by the channel Salmonella Academy. Yes, it's another Sam video. I'm a bit late today. I was outside and I'm like, you know what the hell? I, I'd rather, you know, upload a late video than not upload it. So uh, he's going to talk about Thorium here. I guess he's going to talk about nuclear power plants and, you know, why Thorium is just a great and in future more power plants are going to start using Thorium. But let's see. Uh, obviously, Sam's is just going to be awesome. I don't know which type of tone he's going to take it here, but it's just going to be awesome. I already reacted to quite a few of Sam's video, I guess 30, 40 plus videos. So if you haven't seen them, check out the cards. I've created a playlist for it. Uh, there are other playlists there too, so check them out. There's a link in the description with all of my videos. So if you haven't seen them, check them out as well. Uh, and if you like my reaction, you know, like, subscribe, support this channel. And that way I know which type of videos to react to more. So yeah, let's watch this one. Hey kids, can I tell you a secret? Come here, closer. Nuclear energy? It's not a bad thing. Sure, yeah, 30 years not. ago, things like Chernobyl and Three Mile Island were certainly something to worry about. Today, however... Yeah, okay. Nuclear energy is probably one of the safest energy source that is. People are afraid of nuclear energy so much. And you know what? I'm not going to be honest. Uh, like, you know, uh, I've heard lots of people like, you know, that, that there are some, there is no nuclear power plants where I live, obviously. Uh, but there are some places where there are nuclear power plants and I have friends that live there and they are like, oh man, I, I, I need to move. There's a nuclear power plant here and, I, I'm, you know, I'm always on the edge. I'm like, man, just because Chernobyl happened doesn't mean it's going to happen again. At the time, we knew how to prevent it, but we never thought of it. Let's just put it that way. We knew how to prevent this chain reaction, but nobody thought that there could be something like that chain reaction that happened in uh, Chernobyl. But as soon as that happened, people realized it and there was a lot of safe uh, procedures in place. First of all, there are control rods, so chain reaction doesn't go out of hand. And I, I've seen a uh, you know, comprehensive video a long time ago about how nuclear power plants work now. There's a literal system with uh, you know, vents and things where you know, liquids pour in when it reaches a certain temperature. And all these liquids go inside the core and just cools it down. So it never goes out of hand. So nowadays, nuclear power plants are extremely safe. And it's one of the best way to harness energy. I mean, sun is a basically a nuclear power plant. And then it's the main source of energy in, in the entire universe. So I mean, you know, harnessing that is the, you know, going forward, that is the best way. So people are still afraid of any, any legislations that are about to pass. People are like, mm, nuclear power plant, I'm not touching that. I mean, that's really unwarranted, I guess. It's a different story. Let me tell you kids about thorium. Thorium is uranium's neighbor, just two houses down. He's a lot like uranium, just he's a lot more chill. Uranium's the type to do a half-assed job during the day and spend every night doing Jaeger bombs and blasting Kendrick Lamar, you know the type. Thorium, <laughs> on the other hand, is more career-oriented, and at the end of the day, he's cool with just watching Netflix, eating Ben and Jerry's. Let me walk you through all the steps of nuclear power, and you'll see why thorium is so great. Let's start with mining. So when somebody doesn't feel like getting out of bed, they'll, you know, whine and moan and roll over. Likewise, when uranium doesn't want to get out of bed, he releases deadly cancer-inducing radon gas. This means workers have to put up expensive ventilation systems just to, you know, not die. Thorium's chill. You go to wait. Yeah, uranium is really, let's just say, volatile. Yeah, I mean, lots of power plants, especially Cold War countries that were, you know, like USA, even in Russia, you know, uranium power plants are the most common ones. Not because we didn't know that we could use thorium or something, but it's because uranium power plants produces plutonium. And those plutoniums can be used to make atom bombs. At the time, atom bomb race, I mean, USA and Russia has thousands of atom bombs. So, you know, producing atom bombs was really key importance back then. So it was just, you know, like we can have lots of power with this uranium power plant and we can also have plutonium to make atom bombs. So that was one of the main drivers. And since then, now nowadays, people are not turning to thorium just like that because first of all, it would be immensely costly to, to go from uranium to thorium just to you know, co you know create all that thorium power plants. So people like uranium power plant is still there. Let's just use that that kind of thing but people are slowly starting to do that in china and even in india there are plans to make massive amounts of thorium based power plants i know about that so you know in future people are slowly turning to thorium 
Now, thorium is really stable compared to the uranium and it's it's really let's just say a small amount of thorium is equivalent to a large chunk of uranium so it's really efficient too and there are tons of uh, thorium compared to uranium ur uranium in the uh, uh, entire, entire planet pick him up he understands he's got a job to do goes without a fuss and even when you do get uranium up like the lazy bastard he is, he has much less concentration in his ore compared to thorium, so more work has to be done just to get the same amount of material. The Earth's crust also has much more thorium in total than uranium, about three times as much. So you got your ore, and you've extracted it. Ready for work, right? Wrong. You see, natural uranium mainly consists of two different isotopes, uranium-235 and uranium-238. 238 kind of sucks at life, so, uranium <laughs> has face. to undergo enrichment to up its concentration of 235. Uranium's kind of like it that kid with ADHD, enrichment. right? You got him in the building, but you still gotta give him his own little room and a couple Ritalin before he starts doing anything productive. That's expensive. Thorium, on the other hand, look at him. He's got his sneakers laced, glasses on, he's ready to go. No enrichment needed. Finally, you're ready to make some power. This part's important, kids. Pay attention. So this is where the biggest difference between uranium and thorium comes in. You see, uranium is fissile, whereas thorium is fertile. This means Makes uranium help. can do his job all by himself, just doing his thing all on his own. Whereas thorium's kind of a cripple. He needs a little bit of someone else just to give him the push he needs to start releasing energy. This might sound like a bad thing, but if you think about it, no, it's, it's a lot safer. If you've got your power production process started... Yeah, it's not because chances of chain reaction going out of hand is very little if you control it just in right way. So thorium is really safe compared to that. But uranium just goes ape shit. But then again, we have control rods now, so that's not really an issue. And shit suddenly hits the fan. Uranium's just gonna keep going. You can try to move them around, cool them down or whatever. But at the end of the day, this man's gonna be swinging, and it's not gonna be a good day for anyone. Thorium, he's only got one leg. Piss I mean, that only applies to if the chain reaction has gone past, you know, way long time. And then you realize, like, okay, we should do something. After a certain point, it's really hard to contain it. But nowadays, procedures, like, you know, there are equipments that just checks it. If the temperature goes even slightly higher than it should, it just all safety procedures kicks in. It doesn't let go. So it's really, the technology is really good. Tim off, he takes a swing at you. Just push him over, you're good. Please note, Sam and Al Academy does not condone pushing cripples. And that's what thorium <laughs> reactors do. They allow the barely radioactive liquid thorium to drain away from its helper in the event of an accident, so there's no way for things to escalate. Much safer. But while the process for thorium is better, most of the time, people care more about the results. Well, it just so happens, thorium is pimping in that regard as well. CERN estimates that one ton of thorium is capable of producing as much energy as 200 tons of uranium. That's a Whoa. lot. Whoa! To compare, that's- Whoa! I knew there was a lot, but not at that level. That is a immense level of difference, man. That's efficient. You can create a lot of, you know, uh, nuclear plants with very little th thorium. And that would solve a lot of energy problems, damn. It, like I said, you know, developing all this from the scratch is kind of costly, but people are doing it. Let's just say in future we are going to see a lot of power plant with thorium. It's also equivalent to 3.5 million tons of coal. But let's talk about byproducts. Thorium, being as pure as it is compared even to enriched uranium, produces about 100 times less nuclear waste. So whereas we might not have as many X-Men, that also means much less work has- Oh god, oh god. I saw the video from John Oliver about nuclear waste and it's just like, people like, hmm, what should we do about all this nuclear waste? Just bury them. In the United States, since, you know, that is lo they, they, they were making lots of atomic bombs, there were lots of, you know, nuclear plants too, so there was lots of nuclear waste and in the video shows that lots of places, especially around Washington DC, there are nuclear waste buried deep down. Oh my god, and obviously they have a half-life of like extremely long time, so they're gonna just st sit there. You can't put it in, you know, a uh, rocket and shoot it in space like lots of people say. Like, like, because first of all, rockets are not, not that reliable. I mean, they are reliable enough right now, but there is a chance a rocket can fail. And if a rocket fails and explodes with a nuclear waste inside, people are fucked for hundreds and hundreds of kilometers. That's, that's just something that you don't risk. You can't just throw it inside anywhere. I mean, 
It's so dangerous nuclear waste. So in that sense, thorium is also important, man. ...has to be done to dispose of the material. Additionally, it's very difficult to make a nuclear weapon out of thorium since it can't do much on its own. Yeah. The only thing that's really weaponizable about thorium plants is that little bit of helper material I talked Good about time. earlier. But overall, that's a pretty minuscule amount. Yeah. That means we can feel a lot better about plopping these plants down in places like Iran. So oh kids, God, you yeah. heard it here first. Oh god, yeah. I mean, uh, people are like, obviously Trump pulled out of the treaty. I don't know what's the back, you know, minus point and plus point of that. But the point is, people don't want Iran to have nuclear bombs. And if, you, if they have uh, uranium power plants, they could easily produce plutoniums because of that. And they could develop, you know, in the silent, obviously, atom bombs. But it's not as easy as lots of, you know, in government people said that, you know, Iran can make it in the house and nobody would know about it. I mean, there would be radiation traces and they would last for extremely long time. So, I mean, you can't detect it if somebody literally goes there and check places like, was there any plutonium or any highly radioactive stuff here? They could check that. And, the, you know, equipment would tell you that there was. So, it's really hard to hide it. But still, there, there could be some places that nobody knows about. So how is any official is going to check that? And they could make it there. So there's always a risk. In that sense, thorium is really good. Thorium is the future. Powerful, clean, reliable. And if things go wrong at the end of the day, you can still kick its ass. <sighs> so basically, the video was, screw uranium. Thorium rocks. <laughs> Sam just went apeshit over uranium. I loved it. This is so Sam video, man. Doesn't matter which topic he tackles. It's always the signature Sam. It's always awesome. All right, people. That was a great video. I loved it. You know, watching every time I go to work and come back and react to videos. And, you know, this is, I always start with the Sam's video. And it always, you know, lightens up my day, I guess. So that was great. Uh, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe and support this channel. Check out the other reaction I did. There's a link in the description. Check out the Sam's reactions I did. There's a playlist in the cards. There are other playlists too, like, you know, Unbiased History, I guess, Laminos reactions and uh, Mystery and things like that. So yeah, um, I'll see you next time.